As far as uh, WordPress itself, um, look, anytime that you want to own your own domain, uh, it's as simple as going to a, web, oops, like a website like GoDaddy. And whatever, whatever niche you're playing in, uh, we can't say it enough times, but a lot of marketing is going to work or not work based on the congruency. So congruency of message, congruency of the domain name even, congruency of your headlines. Um, you want to make sure that the entire funnel has one congruent message and that message is never drastically changed, right? It's, it's got a few people the same message. So if you're in the home money, in the make money space or home business space, you know, like find something or some domain that's related to what you're marketing, you know, so don't put like, I don't know. Throttle360.com when you want to like talk about home business. You know what I mean? It's just not related. It's not congruent. Throttle is not a word that makes people think of making money in home business. Uh, keep it. Keep it all related. Uh, once you what? Throttle. Yeah, I kind of like it. Let's buy it. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, the the point is once you have your domain over here, uh, I imagine once you come into DVL, if you probably go through this training, it'll explain it to you. But it looks like you just come over here, you go into the installer, you hate WordPress, you uh, probably have to add your domain in some way. I'm not exactly sure how. Um, give it the admin password, uh, admin username and password that you use for your website. And this will literally install the WordPress files onto that domain that you purchased in GoDaddy. And it'll be hosted here. And you can, like, it should be nearly instant within like a few minutes. You'll have access to your back end of your WordPress website. And it'll look something like this, except it'll be a lot plainer because we have a lot of plugins um, installed on your website. Something I want to tell you guys immediately uh, that we didn't know early on. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you're putting images into a blog, um, if it's hosted off of your blog, like so if you find an image on Google or really any image online at all, a lot of people will right-click, and you can always copy that image's URL, so you see you always have that option. So if I was just to open a new page and paste that, this is where that image is hosted, okay? So if I was then to just take this image and insert it into my blog post for where it's hosted right now, this is going to slow down my website because every time my website loads, it's got to go pull the image off of a different website. And if you start doing this a lot with a lot of different images or a lot of different elements on your page, your blog is going to come to like a nearly screeching halt, and it's a really good way for you to... A, not have people stay on your blog because it takes a long time for pages to load. And B, the search engines do not like uh, any websites that are slow in general. And they will actually, uh, it will hurt your rankings. Uh, it's one of the things that Google does look for is website speed. We didn't know that early on and our websites used to run really slow and we didn't know why. And then somebody told us that. And the moment you start hosting the images on your own library, you'll notice that everything runs fast because your website doesn't have to go out and pull all these images from all over the internet. Uh, so that it makes a really big difference uh, and something we didn't know early on and I don't think something that many people think about. Uh, another thing is image size and file size and dimensions. If you're pulling like these big HD images and throwing them on your page, again, you're really, really going to hurt your image speed. Uh, one of the ways that we mitigate that is uh, there are these two uh, plugins that you can use. One, and, and I would just recommend using this one, so for those of you who are noticing that on your website, I highly recommend getting an app uh, plugin called Smush It, and it will actually reduce the size of all the images on your website and immediately make your website run faster. Um, really, really big deal, by the way. Highly encourage you to do that. Okay, um, let's talk about some plugins that we do recommend. Uh, let's see what it is here.